so I, so the thing is when I listen to songs you know I think I mishear lyrics pretty much so I thought it was I'm a lie like you as in I should type it out but I'm I want to play this first uh, actually I can spell it out verbally so it's I apostrophe M apostrophe A which is like I'm a when people write I'm a they write something like I apostrophe M M A which I think is dumb you should write it I apostrophe M apostrophe A because that's like a shortening of I'm gonna I'm a I'm a so it's like I was thought it was I'm a lie like you so like I'm a lie like you I'm going to lie like you that's what I thought they were saying but now is actually I'm a lot like you I'm a lot like you ah oh, you know if I were singing I would be like I'm a lot like you you know make it clear I'm, I'm very phonetically uh, emphatic because I've gotten this because I'm obsessed with linguistics I've gotten this autistic um, hang up in my mind where it's like there, there are correct ways to pronounce things and if you don't pronounce it correctly you're speaking incorrectly and that's not acceptable so you have to pronounce everything phonetically correctly so and that's why I for instance I pronounce my Z's very prominently uh, I don't think from listening to native speakers I don't think they do that do they pronounce their Z's very prominently like I hear them say you know I don't know I, I don't have an example for example eyes do they really pronounce it very pronounce it very with a Z at the end eyes 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 uh, not as prominently as I do I would do like eyes uh, like I, I add I add an extra vowel just to be able to pronounce the Z more clearly I think that's a problem and and uh, I've I've talked to this about this to people and they think I have a speech impediment oh, fucking hell man no I'm just too autistic um, let's not scream that man only three people left well I'm shooting the next one I see oh we're, it's over what time is it? 36? see I've gotten that idea in my head that it's so that's why I pronounce my Z's very prominently like I can provide an example sentence here see there exa but that's a simple one uh, one thing I didn't know, and I, this is so clear to me when I listen to recordings of myself from two years ago, you know, when I was playing Mega Man, I speak English differently. I don't pronounce my Z as, as prominently. See, as, for instance. I, I would have said that as prominently. As prominently. As prominently. So, uh, more like an S. But now I make sure to make it as Z as possible. So, like, as prominently. Uh, uh, it's... I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed with linguistics. Uh, not just that, I'm a fool. I'm a straight up fool. That's. There's no other way to go about it. It's, I just am. Let me provide another example sentence here. Okay, I can come up with some things here. See, there, 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 there. Things. I don't think. I don't think native speakers. See, there again. Native speakers. Native. I don't think native speakers say native speakers. I think they say native speakers, like an S. But no, I just have to pronounce it Z, like native speakers, because because there's another Z there which I wouldn't have pronounced two years ago. I would have pronounced it because or something like that. Uh, because I because I. I, one time I just learned that you're supposed to have Z's there, which I actually didn't really know. Because native speakers don't pronounce them very prominently. So I was like, well, wow, I didn't know that. Better start pronouncing those Z's. Those Z's. Like, I, it sounds like I have a speech impediment. <laughs> what else was I saying? Oh yeah, and was... See, there, there's another Z 
and oh, oh, and there's okay was I probably would pronounce that was um, two years ago and there's I probably wouldn't have pronounced that there's there's that's how I would have pronounced it two years ago but now oh and years I make sure to pronounce the Z's there as well oh as well I make sure to pronounce the Z's Z there it's everywhere it's everywhere and I'm obsessed with it it's the way I've gotten used to speaking now because I I've gotten this idea in my head that if I don't pronounce those Z's prominently then I'm not speaking correctly Especially I notice that when listening to Chubby Emu, he definitely doesn't pronounce the Z's very prominently. And I wonder if that's because he he, he said that he 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 learned Chinese as his first language. Which I didn't know. I thought he I thought I, I thought he spoke English as his first language. So I was like the Yo, like Bernard, he speaks differently. Or am I just imagining things? I swear he speaks a little bit differently. I, I, I swear. Or maybe this is just how Americans do speak. I don't know. Turns out, he learned to speak Chinese first. But then, you go and watch one of his videos and he doesn't speak Chinese at all, pretty much. He speaks it very bit poorly. So it's like, it's very confusing. So I don't, I don't know if that hypothesis is correct. My hypothesis. I don't know. I'm confused about things. But yeah, you may have noticed that how I pronounce my Z's very prominently. Let's move on. Uh, so then there's another Weezer song titled Pink, Pink Try. See, because that's the thing. There's so many Z's in the English language, which I like. I, I, I like the Z sound. Thing is, the Z sound, the, the the Z sound doesn't exist. See, like so so many Z sounds, so many Z sounds. Um, like in there are so many Z sounds in the English language. Like in the Swedish language, there are no Z sounds. And Z doesn't exist at all. Which I think makes I've reached the point I'm such an Americanophile or an Anglophile or whatever that I think that if Swedish actually sounds kind of awkward because it doesn't have a Z sound. Yes, I've actually reached that point. But well, I, I mean, people do say that Swedish is an ugly language, so maybe they have a point. I don't know, that's a hypothesis right there. Because uh, sometimes it just sounds so awkward when you can't use the Z sound. It's like I don't know. I just I just dislike it. Like uh, I would prefer to pronounce it in the English way. I'm such an Americanophile, and I'm the murderer. <sighs> so in Weezer Pink Pink Triangle, there's this lyric like, "Let me know the truth. Let me know the truth. Find Tom she's." A Okay, that's not. So yeah, let me know the truth. And I thought, I thought it was hanging on the truth, or something like that, roughly like that. Hanging on the truth. No, it's actually let me know the truth. <laughs> wow. So me, all phonetically, emphatically, would if I were to sing the song, I'd be like, let me know the truth. Let me know the truth. Oh, and I should kill people. Let's not forget. Oh, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. Oh, my God. I can't believe this just happened. I'm going to chase this person. No, 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 no. No! No! They've seen me. They've seen me. I need to kill these witnesses. No, 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 no. She's got the bow. Frick. Hopefully, she doesn't see me. She totally knows I'm here, doesn't she? Yes! Yes! I may put the bow in a tough spot too, no one will find it. Actually, they have the map. So. Okay, 
I'm gonna kill this person too. Hey, I'm actually winning this. Has anyone picked up the bow? No? Bow dropped? Okay, good. That's how I want it. Now let's just hope no one has collected enough gold to get an arrow. Well, now let's find that. Let's go talk to that monkey. Who the fuck are you? <laughs> what the fuck are you? Who the fuck are you? <laughs> what the fuck are you? <laughs> I don't even know. Was there anything else I wanted to talk about? So yeah, I mean, I woke up at 4.45 a.m. Um, and then, um, so the thing is, I felt quite dehydrated. So what I did was I just started chugging water like crazy. Like, it started with me drinking f three glasses of water, and those are like tall glasses. I don't know if they're any larger in volume than the regular glasses, but I don't know. I don't know. It's those tall glasses. But yeah, I just, I drank three of those tall glasses of water already, and then, on top of that, I just g went downstairs to the fridge, and I, and I just kept pouring water and kept drinking it, like, just over and over. And I, c I just couldn't stop. I, I just felt dehydrated, and I... I wanted to fix that, and... I don't know, n noth it didn't really fix it. Bow not dropped? Oh no. There's one person left. What?! Where are you? Oh, what time is it? Oh god, it's already bedtime. Well, I don't have to sleep eight hours necessarily. But I said I was going to discipline myself. Uh, okay, I don't really have anything more to say anyway. I'm going to play a li little bit more. Though... Uh, today, actually, at dinner, I was looking at the uh, contradictions in the first turnabout, and I realized that that case is actually really solid. I don't think I give it enough credit, actually. It's it's good. It's a good case, the first turnabout. You know, it, the logic, it makes perfect sense, and it's like, I wish I would come up with that. You know, I wish I could come up with something like that for an Ace Attorney online case. I'm gonna try to. But now the problem is that I don't want to make mine too similar to the first turnabout, so it's like, it's difficult to be inspired without taking too much here. This, that's the problem.